everybody, welcome to a historic niv Mizzet video on channelfireball.com. Um, this is a deck that Autumn Burchett played in the Strixhaven Championship. Um, and I was looking for historic decks to try. I found uh, that it had the best win rate of the Niv decks on um, on tap.gg. So I've been playing it a little bit. I've been doing okay. Um, I wrote a deck guide for the deck uh, on Channel Fireball Pro, CFB Pro. So if you want to read about it, you can check it out there. I have found that since I, I wrote the article, I've start, I've still been playing the deck because I like it. I both think it's fun and good. Um, but I've been playing about a, against a bit more opposing Niv decks, but there's maybe a bit of an arms race. I, I honestly play against more Niv than I do Phoenix, but a lot of the Niv decks are built in a way where they have better mirror cards and those matchups can be tough sometimes so uh certainly not unwinnable or anything but uh, uh i've been keeping my eye on it they have a lot of cards like thought erasure and uh the scare up god um cards that are just good in the mirror lenore elves is uh pretty good here we have a slow hand like i wish we could start casting discard now um but obviously we can't we do have lightning helix but uh, if we're up against like a Gruel deck, which we probably are, uh, might be challenging. I'm going to play Thoughtseize here. We can take any creature. Uh, I could leave up a Helix but or start casting Removal. But if they have a hand like this, um, we might actually buy more time this way. Like if they just draw, now they can attack and play Embercleave. Okay, uh, so be it. Uh, am I confused? Why didn't they play Embercleave? They maybe just clicked too fast. So our hand is a bit awkward. Um, we can Vanishing Burst a creature. Uh, this does prevent them from playing Embercleave again. But uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. Cling to Dust is not terrible. The big problem we have is uh, we don't have enough removal. I think what I'm going to try to do is just play a tap land. Uh, I might just be forced to Vanishing Verse, Ember Cleave, and then maybe untap and play Thoughtseize, depending on what we draw. What I'll, maybe I should do is play Cling to Dust on, like, uh, why are they doing this? Okay. All right, so I can Cling to Dust for a card or for life. I kind of think I should get a card. Um, probably end up still Vanishing Burst and Pelt Collector, though I'll have to see. Drowning the Lock is pretty good. So now we can Drowning the Lock, the Burning Tree Emissary. Um, now we're a bit better against the Ember Cleave. We can play Explosive Iteration and leave up uh, Vanishing Verse mana, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so interesting. I think maybe now I want to take the Iteration to our hand, put this into our deck, put the Helix into Exile, just play our land, and Helix this. I think it might also be prudent now to Thoughtseize one of these Embercleaves because 
we can Vanishing Burst the other one. If they draw a land, we do take four down to five, but we potentially have answers to everything. Robber of the Rich could be really annoying if they get lucky, but they hit a land, so we're okay. Okay, uh, I'm definitely going to start with Iteration. This is not good at all. I'm thinking about whether I want a seventh land or I just want to throw an Inquisition in the graveyard. I think I'll take the land. I think I'll put Summit into our hand, Inquisition into our library, Overgrown Tomb. Now, we're going to be in trouble against a lot of haste creatures here, but uh, we if they draw a land for this turn... We're, we're up against a 1-1 and we have an active cling to dust. Now, if they play like a Gruul Spellbreaker, we're going to lose. Um, okay, I'm just going to concede. We can't target that, so we can kill the robber. Uh, that's a calculated risk. I think our play was okay. Um, so be it. So we definitely want all our removal. Vanishing Verse is decent against Gruul, but could potentially be not the best card, I guess. Um, I think Thoughtseize, a couple Thoughtseize can come out. I'll try this, a bit of the slower clunky cards. Maybe Iteration's too good to board out. I'm not sure, but... Um, the one-for-ones are good, so you want a way to refill. But ideally, I think you just want to ramp into a creature. Uh, Deafening Clarion is our best card here. Uh, the only problem I've had with that is occasionally those cards can be tough to cast on curve. And that one particularly, uh, you need to cast pretty much right on curve. That was a pretty close game. I think if we, the second iteration, if it found like a Helix for sure, we would have been in good shape, though we only had two more. Maybe another, uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake to cast the final Thoughtseize. Like I could have survived that turn, but I would have still had to get lucky. I think it was okay. I think we just didn't get there. We'll get to be on the playing game too, but of course that means if there's a third game, we won't. Okay, so we've got a turn three Deafening Clarion, so we're definitely gonna keep, um, we'll play our white, red, black land because we're more likely to want to cast like an Inquisition on the second turn. Uh, we have no cards for white, red, blue. our opponent didn't disconnect or something. Oh, okay.
our opponent has, I guess, some tough mulligan decisions, which can definitely happen with an aggro deck. With any deck, really. All right, so as I said, we'll play the black tap land. Okay, it's a decent draw, though no chance of casting it this turn. All right, that's really good for us that they played two creatures because we can kill them. To kill this now just in case maybe they have um, some sort of sideboard card that's good against it. So they probably have another creature, I guess not. Well, we're going to shock and then we're going to be able to they did pay three life, so they probably have a card, but we're going to be able to leave up Vanishing Verse now. Okay, we get to leave up both now. Play Vanishing Verse, I think, because if they have like a Gruel Spellbreaker or something later, we can Helix that. or Voltaic Brawler. There's a lot of cards. Maybe they have a Tarkus command? Okay, I played that in response because they did they were gonna using the you know can't gain life mode. Alright, unfortunately now we're on the draw, which is really tough in this matchup. We had uh our deafening clarion on the play, you saw how strong it was. Um it's it's, it's Weaker on the draw, but it's more imperative at that if that makes sense. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mulligan. We don't have green for the binding. Teferi's really slow, and Drown of the Lock doesn't do anything without discard. Uh this is also a slow hand, though we do have potential for a third turn Clarion. We're going to need any untapped land in order to have a third turn Clarion. Um, yeah, Burning Tree Emissary hands are really tough. Well, no other, no follow-up is strong. Uh, I'm hoping to just find an untapped land, but if we don't find one, we may just die before we get to play our Clarion. This might just be too slow. They also may just play a 4-4 on Crop Crasher. Okay, so... We're probably just going to lose if we don't draw an untapped land right here. I guess as far as cards that aren't untapped land go, that's one of the better ones. I'm going to cast this now because we know about a Tarkus command in their deck. Yeah, I don't think we can win. So this puts us to four. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Uh, there's no cards we can find off of um, Iteration to stop two things, and we're dead if we play Clarion. That was a game where, you know, their deck did what it's supposed to do, and had we been on the play, maybe we could have made something happen, but...
If you all haven't had a chance yet, head on over to channelfireball.com slash box breaks. Uh, check out our schedule of breaks. Um, try out either personal break or scheduled break. There's all kinds of stuff being open. We got some old cool, old school stuff coming soon, uh, which is pretty fun if you like that kind of thing. Uh, I do for sure. Um, also file, follow at CFP Box Breaks on Twitter uh, to stay apprised of the goings on. This hand is pretty mediocre. I would not have kept it without explosive, explosive iteration. Uh, the only problem there is, while well, our opponent's mulliganing to like three or something, I think they're at four right now. The only problem there is if they have discard in their deck, which they are kind of likely to because of Loris, we could be in some trouble because our hand without the iteration is pretty weak. But we could also just draw black mana. Looks like they're playing auras. So kind of an interesting spot. They may just take our iteration so we can't find lands, but if they only have one creature and they let us draw Thoughtseize, or let us draw black for Thoughtseize, that could be trouble too. So uh, they have some amount of a decision in my opinion. Mm, <laughs> the worst of all worlds. Oh, they don't have a creature unless they just have that one, yeah. Certainly a problem with the five color deck. I could have mulliganed, but I think it's okay. We did, like I said, we did have the iteration. I think it's okay that we're a little bit weak against discard. Probably almost no chance from here. Uh, we can't even play Binding next turn. All right, so if they don't draw an enchantment and we get lucky, problem is they're going to put Luris into their hand, so. Wonder why they wouldn't put Luris into their hand. Oh, because they know about Dotsies, but then we'd be dead. Uh... Maybe a helix. This doesn't let us actually do anything, so. I don't know if we have any cards that can let us survive. I guess we need to draw. Yeah, okay, we're just dead. So, <clears throat> I was thinking maybe if we drew like iteration into helix plus land or something, but. I think Clarion is okay on the play. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe just try like this. I think this sand is good enough because we have two thought seas. We don't have the best lands again, but any lands are good this time. Not that we don't have good mana, we just don't have enough mana. But with two thought seas, I think it's an obligated keep, basically. I 
decided to play Thoughtseize because I think they'll both hit all their cards, but in this case, they won't know we have Inquisition. I'm going to wait on the Inquisition because if they return Lurus this turn, we want to be able to, to Inquisition it. All right, so those were two good draws. Thoughtsies. Probably unlikely they have anything in their deck to deal with this directly. They may have like Heliod's Punishment or something, which we have pretty good stuff here against Duress. Okay. They can definitely be waiting for eight mana, but we can just put them on a clock. Uh, they don't have any good one mana cards to play, so... I mean, they know we have this Inquisition. Don't really understand that play, but whatever. Wonder if I'm supposed to have like one cling to dust in the deck. Kind of like all our cards. <laughs> All right, so we have two thought seizes and no black. Having a lot of hands like this in this video, um, I kind of feel like we need to keep again. Like if they have, if we miss, we're just gonna lose is the problem. But if we mulligan, the problem is their deck has so much, I'm just gonna keep, I, I don't know. I, I'm very uneasy about the keep, but the problem is their deck has so much discard that mulliganing is so rough. Yeah, we lose. Maybe I'm too greedy, I don't know. It's always easy to second guess yourself when it doesn't work out, of course. Now they've turned on Drown in the Lock if we draw black. If we draw black that we can cast a spell with this turn, I think we're in it. Uh, 
No good. Though they didn't play Kaya's Ghost Form last turn, though now they have a chance to also just play more discard. Okay. Oh, they didn't hit a land. Maybe we're in the game. Sure. The old fashioned way. Yeah, I mean, we might lose to just creature with some enchantments on it for sure. I think we should play Thoughtsees. Two claims. Fracture. Guess I should take Mogi's favor. Pretty lame. But there's very little else to do. Niv would be a good draw, I think. What does Fracture do? Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker. Okay. So Teferi's not a good draw. Okay. We have a dead thought season unless we find a helix. I don't think I have any choice but just to play Giganta. Their hand is weak in a way. Yeah, I guess we're dead. All right, fair enough. Yeah, good game. If they drew a land there, we we're going to have to draw some action, but so be it. They could have like attacked us down to one and played a second creature, though we had Assassin's Trophy. Hmm. Who knows? There was a lot to navigate through because of all their claims though. Another gem of a mana draw. Uh, I'm going to put Niv back. I have a feeling we're playing against the same deck. I don't think I can. No, we're playing against rogues. That's still okay. I don't think I can multi five. Sure. 
sure. Okay, so we probably want to play Vanishing Verse. Which means I should play a land that can cast it. Maybe that brainstorm locked. Nope. They did not find another blue. Interesting. I do feel like we should play Thoughtseize while their blue man is tapped. Though they did just brainstorm. I think I've changed my mind. Sure. Okay, so they must have had really good cards because they didn't even want to shuffle them away. Cling to dust in response to dot C's. Okay. Uh, okay. So I guess I don't do this in our upkeep because they want a test of talent set. Then we'll, oh no, I should have. No, I shouldn't have because we'll take an extra damage. I mean, I assume they're holding test of talents to use on lightning helix. I don't know. Tap to black. I guess we can't bluff lightning helix. I messed up. I guess I need to do this now. I guess it's it good to do it now. I guess does it matter? We'll see what happens. I forget how many cards are in our graveyard, so I guess it doesn't matter. What do I want to do? Could play Giganta and trade. Maybe it's, we have a lot of cards in our graveyard. They probably don't have a land in their hand, though we may be able to snipe Luris actually. We could Iteration. If we had a Vanishing Burst, I think I'll play Iteration. This one in our hand. One of them in our library. Want to exile this one. I'm just going to play this Inquisition because it'll let make the rest of my play easier, I think. Yeah. All right. So now I have to try to play around that also. I can't let that resolve. So. 
We're going to have to play a weird grind with cling game, I think. All right, that's good. Let's just play Niv Mizzet. We can exile that, now we can basically force them to sack their wind robber and we have quite good hand well probably the only card where they really have a chance to play on I'm going to play this as a land because I think we want to just start clinging a lot. So interestingly, they have a Wind Robber as their only card to get back with Loris. I think maybe I'll just cling it. Start with Inquisition in this case because we know they have Lurus. He's Guild Enforcer in response, sure. Soaring Thought Thief. I think I'll counter this one. They have the castle, which is good. Put this into our hand. This into our library, this into exile. I don't want to tap all our blue, so put a green there. Definitely don't care about that. Like, I'm pretty happy to just block, to be honest. Spring dot thief.
Thieves Guild Enforcer. Mm, I could counter Thieves Guild Enforcer. I think I will. Guess I should plus first because I'm 100% to plus. Should have held that because I ultimate next turn. That was really bad. All right, so we want our Helix. I don't think we want Cage. We'll take Dispute. I think I'll take a couple Vetoes and the Rafts. I don't want Assassin's Trophy. Clarion is probably okay as a one of just because of Niv. Like if we ever resolve a Niv, gives us optionality. So that's 67. I actually don't think Binding is that good of a card. Um, We can trim a vanishing verse. Mm, these cards all seem pretty good. Maybe we can trim two vanishing verse and go to like one veto. It's possible three nibs is enough against a deck like this. It's possible for to fairies too much too, to to fairy, but they have discard also. I think I'm just gonna cut the veto actually. I think I will go to one Teferi. It's possible my deck doesn't have enough power now. I haven't played this matchup yet. All right, I guess. <laughs> If we can keep them threatless, we're doing just fine. Interesting. All right, so we have only one blue, so let's play our blue trium. Plan here is just a cycle.
Okay. Next turn, if they don't have a discard spell on top, which they could, I guess, next turn we're likely to be able to play a 4-4 four, four Crisis. Decent. black blue okay wonder if I should just jam Giganta maybe I should if I have two drowns like what am I worried about yeah well, I guess we'll find out find out what I'm worried about if they just have a bunch of creatures we have a bunch of removal and if they draw thought sees our hand is somewhat redundant I guess I could have a bunch of Blood Chief's Thirsts. So Gigant has a good clock. Um, another good thing we have is if they start milling us, we eventually will maybe hit our own Drown. So now we have outs to just win with Lightning Helix for a lot of the rest of the game. Alright, not bad. Um, if you check the description of the video here on YouTube, you'll find a link to ultimateguard.com. You can also check mine and other member of uh, Team CFB Ultimate Guard's Twitter. Um, finally, as of a few days ago, the Born to Earth, uh, Return to Earth, excuse me, Boulder, um, is available so if you're interested in that uh, it's made of like i think it's 99 percent renewable uh, resources and you should be able to find it um, at hopefully at your local game store uh, if not you can look for it it's really nice i actually have one right here just turn to earth uh, boulder deck box so if you're thinking about maybe getting back to paper magic or just need some accessories uh, check it out. Ooh, okay. Okay, these matchups are tough. I've played this before. We have a decent hand, to be honest, but um, a little bit of a non-bow between Verse and Drown. Helix is a great card to have, though. Lava Runner, okay. I'm just going to Helix now. I could get punished by like a, a larger haste creature. Um, so be it. See if they play two, two burn spells pre-combat. It's possible they pay, play none. Maybe they have like a light up the stage. Nope, just more lava runners. All right, time to start cast removal. <laughs>
gonna be hope we draw land so I don't have to make the tough decision. So probably we just want to kill both these things and not take any damage. Did I oops? No. So blue red here, that leaves us blue and black still, right? Okay, because I want to counter the bone crusher. I most want to find helixes. Um it's fine. I don't need a third niv. I uh rather just play like this, I think. Shocking. Not the best. All right, so we definitely want to attack. Uh, Nice. So, Lightning Helix All Star there. All right, so we want all our cheap cards, basically. Maybe not that one. I think Extinction Event's still worth it. Veto might even be worth it, to be honest. I think we want to cut like one to Fairy, Binding, Mortality Sphere, definitely all the Thought Seizes. I'm gonna try a Veto. Maybe I should try a Raph now. That just gets, he just, uh, he just gets bolted. I think cling might be good enough just because killing a creature, it's like a counter spell for one mana if you exile a creature. Their whole deck does three damage, so. Is this hand playable? Nope. Is this hand playable? Ish. All right, so we have, <laughs> we don't have mana to cast Krasis still. I think we just have to play Assassin's Trophy. It's like incredibly annoying, but maybe not. I think we do.
Now we're just going to get attacked by... I also played the wrong land. Yeah. Oh well. We're also just going to start getting attacked by their land now. I'm just going to put Giganta in our hand. That's what you want to do on turn three against these aggro red decks with all burn. Nothing. I think we have basically no chance in this one. Uh, just give up. I'm going to take the veto out. Put the Teferi in, I think. All right, let's get a draw Helix's Inquisitions and the mana to cast them. Ah. Uh. Okay, as for five card hands, this is not a bad one. Um. We really need all our cards. We don't have any two lands that can cast all our spells. That's our biggest problem. I feel like we need to keep the iteration, but we need all of it. I guess I'm leaning towards this. Godspeed, I guess. It's going to be a very challenging game. It's kind of like a gin card in a way. I think we just play for max upside here and just hope that they have one of those hands with all creatures. Like if they double Wizards Lightning us, it's quite poor. This is what we need. One more creature, please. Okay, that's not ideal. But uh, we can play our Clarion. They sort of have to play the Lightning Strike, right? Yeah. Hmm. Now we have an actual decision. We can. I kind of want to just put Giganta in our hand. I think I will. Like, <sighs> hmm. the iteration. No, we should play it. Yeah, the land drop this turn is not good though. They don't have a shock. I'm gonna put Giganta in my hand. Sure. Hmm. 
Okay. I maybe should just play Gigantha. I think I probably should. I can play two spells on it, then it's like gaining five. I'm quite worried about the Faceless Haven. This is like a death wish to play my land untapped, but just getting chunked by the Faceless Haven is too bad. Okay. All right, so I think I need to Helix the Bone Crusher and then have Drowns and more helixes that this iteration can find. Hmm. I think I still just need to play this. Put one of them into my hand. Okay, lightning helix. Put one of them into my library. Finishing verse. Exile that and play this. Oh my god, I'm the best. I could just be dead. Maybe I should have played it on my turn. I was worried about a bigger haste creature like an Oncrop Crasher or something. Sure. Hmm, okay. All right. This is good against, uh, I guess I can use it on that. <laughs> I was thinking about Faceless Haven. I need a Niv. I definitely need to just play, like, cast my cards to stop any damage from creatures. So they don't have an instant, which I guess is a decent sign. Maybe my Krasis would be the best draw. Oh my, Kling is decent. Kling is a decent draw. First one to start with a card. They have a land in their hand, I'm pretty sure, so. I guess I'll wait for now. I wonder if I, I probably should start gaining life now. I'm going to counter this just because it does four to me by not countering it, sort of. Uh, I'm going to get a card this time. We're at nine. I still think there's a good chance they have a land in their hand. Just 
So what could it be? I'll just cast it, just get the card in our graveyard at a time where it's, oh, it could be Fry, fair enough, at a time when it's convenient to use the mana anyhow. Guess I just won't use Cling at all right now. Well, that's a good draw. I'm definitely going to get life now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we went two and two. Um, we did have a bit of mana troubles. Maybe I made some not quite perfect decisions on mulligans. Um, but overall, you know, I uh, hope you got a feel for the deck. If you're interested in reading my deck guide on CFP Pro, uh, please head on over and sign up. And sign up, excuse me. If you use code Huey, you can help support uh, me and my content. Thank you for watching. See you next time.